It is so nice to meet you both. I loved with love <laughs> and oh. I love Beatriz and Jorge. It's so nice to see this kind of like foundational couple that echoes out into all the relationships we see on the show. So can you both kind of discuss how you set that example, whether it is good or too good, perhaps, uh, Constance? Well said. Um, I think the um, person who set that example was Gloria calderon Kellett, who wrote mm. a very complex uh, relationship with very subtle, strong struggles internally. And um, on paper, it looks like we have the perfect marriage. You know, we have grown children, fully functional. Everybody loves everybody. Um, we're, we're connected. But the private struggle that's going on um, is, I think, one that a lot of women in America deal with because we're pulled in so many different directions and we're trying to hold it together for everybody. And then we sort of forget that we haven't we haven't connected with ourselves in a very long time. And we don't know, we, we're lonely. We're lonely in a crowd and we're lonely in the family. And um, I think that is just magic. It's gold that she tapped into and how we try to subtly right the ship. And um, also focusing on the communication. If we could just communicate in our relationships, it might not go so far off track, but, um, I think that that coupling that she wrote and the, the dynamics that she wrote is a wonderful exploration of what happens after the happily ever after. It's, it's really great. Absolutely. And um, Benito, obviously, uh, Jorge is a loving father, um, a caring husband, but maybe doesn't always see the full picture Whoa. of what is going on around him. <laughs> um, so how, um, how do you view his approach uh, to his marriage and also even to parenting, especially with Jorge Jr. They have their own. They, they do. They have their own journey. But uh, I was just saying that um, he, what's fun about the pilot is I start, it, it starts with me walking arm in arm with my daughter, you know, and I say, go get some wine. And the episode ends with my uh, clear, clearing up some air with my son mm. and everything in between. You know, uh, his hopes and dreams about a taco truck and, uh, you know, having my private time or, or my back hurts and I have to sit someplace else. All of those different elements of the relationship uh, of all these other people, you know, what is navigating. He's not a mean guy. He's not an a, a overly macho person, but he does have his own journey and he's, yeah, he's comfortable in his skin. But at the same time, he's not so set in his ways that he can't learn. Yeah. And that's what I love about the character. That's what I love about all the characters. I think Gloria does a great job of setting the tone with the grandparents. You know, they're comfortable in their skin, whatever age they're at, and they're willing to love and carry their traditions and ask questions and dance. And, and, and if they're doing that, they're encouraging their kids to do that. My mom was like that. My mom always said, why not? You know, just go be a rebel. Why not? You know, if you make a mistake, get up, do it again. You know, that's part of this show. There's an element of you're safe to make mistakes. And I think Jorge is that guy who walks through until he realizes he's made a mistake. Mm. And then that triggers something else. And and when you when you have a relationship like we do, a strong relationship, when you make mistakes, you go and you ask your partner help. Can you help me? And I think Gloria does a great job in putting that in the show. I love that. And I also love how it charts the course of this relationship and family through holidays, which are ever so important to Latino culture. Um, every holiday is the biggest holiday. So what is your biggest holiday for each of you? The next one. <laughs> um, I, I, I am guilty of loving every holiday. I, um, I know at some point my daughter is going to be very embarrassed by me because the amount of holiday stuff in my garage for every holiday and I bust it all out and I'm like, this is for us. Will you help me? And then she gets distracted on something else and I do it all by myself and I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm one of those people that when I was single in my early thirties, I would decorate my entire apartment in Christmas for nobody but me. <laughs> and and I, I just feel like it's, um, it, it it, it, it's like milestones, like mm -hmm. remember that Christmas, remember that Dia de los Muertos, remember that New Year's. And um, 
as we get older, holding on to memories is super, super important. And in this family of the Diaz's, there's these milestone transformational conversations, connections, love, celebrations that keep us together. And um, I, one of the things I, I really truly believe is what the world has gone through and what we've gone through as humans in the last few years, this is a show about remember the celebrations. It's an mm. invitation to be vulnerable and kind and love again. I love that so much. This is like the perfect timing for the show then. Yes. Thank you guys so much. You are fabulous. The show is fabulous. And I cannot wait for the world to witness it. <laughs>